third part of good form running is cadence. Cadence gives you something very simple and something audible to focus on. Um, whether you have a metronome or you're just counting in your head, it gives you a very easy point of reference to think about with form. When we get tired, we tend to just start to lope or drift in our stride. It doesn't make sense at first when you think about it, but it's more wear and tear and it's harder on your muscles to take long loping strides than it is to actually move them faster and shorten that stride up. So cadence is what helps you shorten that stride up, helps you get back onto your midfoot, off of your heel if you're out there, out in front of yourself, helps shorten that stride and get you efficient. By working on your cadence, it really sets the foundation for muscle memory, um, sets the foundation for rhythm, and it sets the foundation for stride length. And once you can get used to that cadence, it's gonna naturally help that stride length to come back and to get where you want it to be. But then when you start to focus on your stride length and focus on where you're putting your foot down, it's only gonna make that just that much more comfortable. It won't feel so awkward. It won't feel like, oh, I don't know where my feet are because you're used to just thinking about nice, short, quick strides, and then you're more aware and of where your feet are doing anyway, and it helps us kind of get you there. Cadence is really easy. Um, for most runners, we, we tend to drift somewhere between 160, some, some of us are even up towards 170 strides in a minute. Ideally, we want to be more up in that 176, 178, 180, 182 range, where it's, it's really kind of keeping us on it and keeping that stride short. So easy way to do it, you don't have to have a metronome, but if you have access to a metronome, just being able to have that rhythm, so you, and just starting in place, so you get used to walking in place to find your midfoot, and just add some cadence rhythm to it, just to get used to the rhythm, getting used to the idea. Counting your strides, see how many times your left foot comes down in 15 seconds, and multiply it out and figure out what, how many strides you're taking in a minute, and then just see it conceptually. Think about shortening your strides, so you're picking your foot up and putting it down a few more times every minute than you, than you were before.